I'm Miles. And I'm uh, Gavin. And today we're going to show you how to make um, a radio telescope and how they actually uh, work to begin with. And as you can see right here, here it is. And in um, a couple of uh, milliseconds, we're going to show you all the parts that you need and um, like different types of radio telescopes that you can make. Okay, so we've gone ahead and um, disassembled the thing. So there is four parts, maybe five. I don't remember. Yeah, I'm counting both the um, box parts and the tiny uh, radio telescope we have here. Uh, that would be six, I believe. Yeah, six. Okay, so the first and... Well, there's two main important parts, which is this oscilloscope and the radio. Mm -hmm. Most of the other stuff you don't really need, but it's helpful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the oscilloscope is about $25. You can get it, get it off of Amazon. And um, let me just explain what it is, um, because you're... You might like not even know what it actually is. Yeah. Um. It measures um electric fields and not just currents. If it also just measures um fields and yeah. it shows it in waves and um it's important because it shows you what you're reading off of the uh, radio telescope. Yes. Okay. So we're just using a plastic cup out off of a radio telescope dish thing. Mm -hmm. So, if you have a 3D printer or something like that, you can go ahead and make one that's more, like, even and better. So, um, so, the radio, this was 40 bucks. It's just, it's a crank radio, and this is kind of the second main piece, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. it's a F-O-S-P-W-E-R radio. Yeah, if you want to get this exact kind. Mm -hmm. So, and then we have this just game, watch your mouth. Yeah, you don't need these. It kind of yeah. just covers it up. Um, yes. Although. We do have a tiny one right there. Here, I'll show it up, so. Yeah. Oh, wow, there? the needle is almost. Oh, wait, that's because it's not up all the way. Yeah. There. Okay. So it's like a tiny um, radio telescope. Like a, yes. It's like a dish that you have on top of your house. Yes. Okay. And, yeah, and we're going to show you um, all the things to build in um, a few seconds. Yeah, and how to build it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I have the radio here. If you are actually building one of these radio telescopes, the thing doesn't come pre-extended. There's this little knob here that you pull out mm -hmm. other than that. Okay, so this is how you assemble it. You want to have the stick thing up here, and you want to put it like here. Mm -hmm. We cut holes for all this stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, here. Here, let me, um, explain all the, uh, parts of the holes that we have. So, this hole right here allows the antenna to go through and move, yeah. um, not, like, crazily, like, in all directions. Yeah, but, um, but it makes it be able to move. Mm -hmm. This hole right here, um, it's gonna have it so... You can turn the volume on. Right, uh, this, yeah. this one right here. Yeah. And... Then, the final hole is so we could have the um, oscilloscope's screen. screen. Um, here it is. Yeah, that screen. Yeah, all the waves. We don't have it plugged in, that's why there's nothing. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, if I were to plug it in, there would be... Ah, that's a crazy spark. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that, that always happens. Yeah, I see there's stuff on the screen now, so, yeah. Yeah, right here. Yeah. yeah you, you saw for a couple of seconds. You, you get the point. Um, so, what you do is... And just so you know, you could use any radio you want. You just really yeah. need the antenna. And actually... You uh, need a volume thing, so you can control the volume. Right, because you will hear the la uh, waves of this, yes. uh, figuratively yeah. speaking. So what you do is, after you have the radio like this in the box, and you could cut out your own box, it depends how big yeah, ra the radio is. Yeah, we're using a game because we have two of these boxes. Yeah, I'm not going to give you dimensions because this is just a uh, wash your mouth... Uh, game that we yeah. have and yeah we had two of them mm -hmm. so we had a spare box right okay so we're going to set the oscilloscope over on top of the radio so yes it's high enough where the screen actually pops out mm -hmm. so yeah and you might be wondering why we have two of these uh radio telescopes because this by the way will go on this yeah but then it'll you know be like a dish panel yes but we did this because the positive claw is going to go on the radio's antenna. But that means that the negative one has no spot. Yes. Well, now it does because it could go right on this. Because 
Yeah, we're just using a needle mm -hmm. and a soda cap. Right. Yeah, and I uh, created this. Yeah, like Miles said, uh, I just need a needle. You poke it through the um, soda cap or cap, uh, then it goes through the box right here. And be careful because yeah. it's uh, pinchy right there. Yeah, it's a needle. Right. And so... So you can put the... Um, Negative, the one. negative one over on the wow. needle. All right, you, you can't see the um, uh, Thing, but at all, but it is it, on. It is on, yeah. yeah. Okay. So now, oh, um, you know what? Here. It's a little um hard to do, but here, I'm going to cut this part of the video out because it's really confusing. So we'll um show you when we have it all figured out. All right, so we found why uh, I was having such a hard time is because I accidentally put the um, radio in the wrong place. And I forgot to show you one of the holes. Um, there's a hole right here. Yeah. And that's so this wire could get in, but, you know, it looks impossible to get in. But I created a slot right here so it slides in to the hole. It's almost impossible to get out by itself. There we are. And so now that we have the power source, which is um, exiting out yes. of the box. And there's my negative thing on this tiny radio telescope. And now, here's kind of the tricky part, because this claw's a little um, small. Oh, I have a strong magnet. It's always attaching to something. Okay. Okay. But this yeah. could actually attach the large part of the yes. radio's antenna right here. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be mm -hmm. sticking out, and everything can be kind of concealed. Right, in the box. Yes. So now, the positive claw is on the rad uh, antenna of the radio, and the negative wire is on the um, smaller uh, radio telescope. And now, this is a tricky part, putting the... Yeah. It's kind of like a giant Lego that doesn't want to get put I on. I mean, yeah, you could say. <laughs> so... Okay, so... That goes right through there. Yeah, don't poke me. Now, the screen goes through this rectangle. There we go. Let's get off. No, it's alright. We can just do that. Right there. there we go. Yeah, so now we have the screen through the rectangle. So basically, there's a screen. And then we have the, um, this freely. And then there's the volume knob that we mm -hmm. cut a hole for. Because mm -hmm. the, um,. That's how we uh, measure the waves right. by sound. Or you can just look at the screen, which yeah. has like the waves, or you can just listen to the sound. Right. And now you can see that the wire has to go through this slide yeah. of the box. And now it's yeah. going through. Yeah, so. Here, let me now plug it in. Oh, yeah, yeah, plug it in. Okay, it's plugged in. Okay, and now. Uh, this thing is booting up. We just have to do. Yeah, we this. just have to put that on. And then now we have the sunlight. And then you can see the waves here. Right. We don't have the volume on here. Oh, yeah, let's turn the volume on. Yeah, it's a little uh, tricky to yeah. get it on. It's, it's a bit offline. There we go. Yeah. And here. Um, here. Okay, there's a magnet right here that can demonstrate this. If I put it over here, the sound changes. Yeah, um, the magnet itself, um, it's actually... It's not the best way, but, I mean, like, if you touch it, it, it muffles, kind of. The, um, magnet, um, the magnet yeah. field actually doesn't affect it, um, because it needs to be copper wire like this. Yeah, which and if you might... Can... Here, um, Miles, I, you, you can talk to him. I think I get the one to talk to him. Okay, and if you... You can see over on the, on the screen, the waves, because if I touch this, it goes all crazy and stuff. And if I take the magnet, it might not do much, but the waves, yeah, oh, oh, well, just a lot. Yeah. So, you can see the waves are doing all that stuff when I have the magnet connected, or if I touch it. Yeah. And, and we had a um, walkie-talkie, I don't know how much this costs, because we've had it for a couple of years. Now. Yeah, it's a motor, a lot of it's probably like a hundred bucks. Yeah, well, like I say for, like, the uh, million sign, you could do anything out of, um, 
Like, you, you don't need to have all these objects. Um, the most important one would actually be the radio itself. Um, yeah, well, there's two more important And the oscilloscope. Yeah. The oscilloscope and the radio. So, let's so, go see what would happen if I were to hold the transmitter button of the walkie-talkie. Yeah. yeah. And also, uh, observe the, uh, waves also. Yes. Before. I was talking about that. Yeah, and you cannot... See, it's hard to see. Yeah. Um, but like when I have the magnet attached, the all the waves oh, do that. I think I get it. Um, see, when I put the magnet on this magnet, right? Oh, th there's the frequency. So the frequency yeah. is about I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you probably yeah. can see it. It's written it's on. It's at the top left. It's the at the green thing. Sixty. Yeah, sixty. Now, all right. I'm hertz. now holding the transmitter button. Oh, you hear that? definitely hear something. And you see the waves? They're kind of like moving in all directions. Like the frequency yeah. goes down. Yes, but this is when we're holding the transmitter mm -hmm. button. button. This is... Uh oh. It's really quiet. Why is it quiet? Sorry, we're having some uh, technical difficulties yeah. right now. Okay, so we figured out the problem. It wasn't really anything major. The volume just, for some reason, it went lower. I don't know how. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. the radio probably needs, like, a charge day eventually, but... Yeah. And there's something you can do with the walkie-talkie. Ours has this, um, music button, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And if we press that and, um, look at the wave... It's kind of, it's kind of like a gun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It um, goes down, as you can see. Yeah, and it's, it's basically mm -hmm. making the waves. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure you already t uh, showed them this, but I forgot to hold the antenna. Yes. The waves would go insane. Yeah. And the frequency would also kind of stay the same. So the waves and the frequency um, kind of show you different things. Yes. And now, if I were to have this tiny radio telescope right here. Oh, and touch that. The it waves goes. would decrease. Yes. Now, I'm not, like, um, a genius or anything, but I believe it's because since the negative wire is on the, um, is on that, negative, you would think that it would want to attract stuff because, um, it has fewer electrons and it wants electrons. Actually, no. When it's negative, it's, um, it always wants to be negative, meaning that it wants to push stuff away. So all the electrons are actually going into me. Um, yeah. In the electromagnetic waves. But the positive one... The it takes the electrons from you. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, for for this tiny one, you can, um, the wire can, like, get off sometimes. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, like this I say again, this is, um, the most, um... Cheapest way to get a, make a radio telescope. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, you can look online, and guess what? There are only... Twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Or you could get this. Um, that's um, I would say like a less than a hundred, right? Mm, well, if you if you were to get the oh and the walkie talkies. Well, we, so you don't it would be like ninety Yeah. For everything. And um, this um is the um basically the most detailed radio telescope that you can make. Um, in our house anyway, but, uh, we're gonna show you other ways you can make them that, um, go yeah. less and less. Yeah, so, um, it's like, like you said, it's the, de it's the most detailed way you can make a radio telescope without being stupidly rich. <laughs> right? Okay, yeah. And, um, also, you can cover, um, the box with a uh, white tape and, like, mark stuff, like, saying, yeah. like, this is the screen, this is the power source, uh, on, off. Yeah. And, um, we, we didn't, uh, do that, guys. I don't know why we didn't do it, actually. But we're yeah. probably going to do it. Um, but in a few seconds, we're going to show you um, another way you can make um, the radio telescope without doing as much detail as this. The other way you can make it is just without a box. I mean, yeah. if you don't have a box, we just had a spare watch your mouth um, <laughs> game. Because mm -hmm. someone sent it to us. Yeah. So... We, you can just set it up all like this, cause, but it's more, a bit more neat and right stuff without, like, this, the box. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have, like, a plastic cup and a straw, then you can make this. 
Right, yeah. Yeah, but then it would just, like, fall all the way down. Yeah, all we really did with this um, is have a straw and make a hole at the bottom of the cup. And hot glue it. Wow, it looks that transparent, so hard to see in the camera. Yeah. Um. Yeah, then yeah. hot glue it. Uh, then and it has to be big enough for the uh, actual wire to come in. I was having trouble yeah, finding so. the straws. And then, you know, this uh, tiny radio telescope thing, you don't even need this for this, you know. Yeah. Because this one is kind of some a detailed thing, which actually helps um, electromagnetic waves hit it. Yes. So, yeah, I could just put that back. Yep. And, yeah, so this is the same thing without the box and yeah. uh, without that tiny one. And here, you could also keep this on if you okay. want. It, it kind of, I, I just think it looks cool, you know. Yeah, I mean, if you lower, maybe, like, lower that off. Mm -hmm. I also like it when it looks tall. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know why. It just looks cool. Yes. So, it, I don't know if it really helps, but it might because it bounces off and it hits it. Yeah. That's how actual uh, radio telescopes work. Um, but this one, you know, it's not mathematically correct. If it were to hit it, then it would probably bounce off to the straw, but it, was, it would still hit it. So, I, I think it helps. I, I think it helps. Yeah. And then, of course, you just stick that off. And then, your stuff has to hit it, really. Right. Yeah. And And it still works like almost equally the same. Yes. Yeah. Rather than the fact that there's a this and a box, mm -hmm. which makes it work a bit better. Right. Okay. In a few seconds, we will show you another um, easy one that's even less detailed. Okay. So this is like the most cheapest way you can do it. We just have like a something to hold it and just spare wire and a and a paper towel roll. And the oscilloscope. And that's really all. You just connect yeah. the wire, the positive to the wire, the spare wire you have, mm -hmm. if you have any. And then we have, we can put the satellite dish on there, because it just kind of looks cool. And also, it might actually help. Um, yeah. So, here, let me get out the Yeah. Copyright. And you can see the waves are going crazy, because he's touching it. Right. So, here, let me explain this. Um, yeah, and this is just without the radio entirely, so there's no sound. Yeah. But it's just the waves and the frequency and so, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. This itself is like a big um, um, antenna. Yes. And this is the tip of it, and you could like yeah. point it at stuff. Yes. Like uh, the walkie-talkie. Here. You could already see the... Uh, waves getting like smaller. Yeah, the waves getting smaller than... Oh, oh, now oh that's because bigger. I touched it. Yeah, it's, um, hmm. it's, it's, it's partially, it gets a bit smaller, I think. Yeah. Oh, and now oh, it's yeah, now it got, all right, so what else work? Good. I, okay. I, I got a little so, scared there. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, this is three ways to make a radio telescope. Mm -hmm. Pretty cheap, rather than buying one for 20000 on Amazon. All right, so for it to touch it. Or it goes, go yep. Untouch it. The ways would go down. Yeah. All right, and now uh, we are going to show you the simplest possible way to make a radio telescope. Okay, and now the one that you've been waiting for, the most simplest way to make a radio telescope yeah. is... Just the radio. Just the radio. Yeah. And, you know, it's um kind of really simple. All you it's really need is a radio. It's kind of just too, too simple, really. Yeah, so when you turn it on, there's static. And, and then, yeah. That's yeah, because, I mean, it, the walkie-talkie. Yeah, it, um, yeah. It, it's, yeah, it just, just don't go into just... the channel of music. Yeah, well, it, it's fine. Yeah, just go on. Yeah, so. So it interferes with it, but. Yes, but it. Mm. It's not really the waves. And oh, the waves. I, I just realized something. The waves are pretty small. Yeah. The only... God, I, I forgot to say this. Honestly, I thought that nothing was going to happen, and nothing should be happening, because the oscilloscope is still on. Yes. So I forgot that. So, Here, so yeah, turn it off. Okay. Yeah. So it makes it quieter. So it it changes it a little, but it yes. still actually works. So yeah, it's yeah. Now it just sounds really weird. Um, yeah. So I mean, you this is technically a radio telescope, mm -hmm. but it's the better way would just be to 
to get an oscilloscope, hook it up to the radio telescope, and that's, yeah. Right. Or the, mm -hmm. or the long radio. Yeah, and then we're uh, finally going to build it again, and yeah. we're going to explain how the stuff actually works. Yes. Okay, so, um, this is how it works. It's just radio and the oscilloscope. Yeah, yeah. so what happens is, um, let's just explain this to you, um, yes. easily. Electromagnetic waves or electric waves that are hitting the antenna yeah. go through and go through the positive wire. And then end up over in the oscilloscope. Right, and it shows out waves. Yes. And um, the negative this, wire yeah. goes through this when it hits this. Yes, and once electrons like go through it, same with it, it goes over into the oscilloscope, which makes it very small, as you can see here, if I let go. And then big. Yeah. And let's also explain this. Why does it actually affect the radio itself? So if I have to turn it on, is this the right one, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I just want to see if it's working. Oh. Oh. It's so Oh, it's strapped. Really. It's really dropped. Ah, what happened? It's rebooting. Uh, I think you pressed the reset button. Whoops, my bad. Uh, yes. Okay, kind so of here, go ahead and do this one again again. There we go. Yeah, it's just gone. It goes all the way over the corner. And, yeah, so it's just gone. This is a creepy part. If we unattach the red positive um, wire. Oh, this is hard. He's already extended. Oh, there we go. There we go. You can still hear it. Now, why in the world can you still hear it if the red wire is unattached? And I'm gonna explain that. Okay. Ah! There we go. Um. So the reason why it's affecting it, um, when the radio is away, it's because when you have a walkie-talkie. It affects the radio without it um, being uh, connected. It affects it through fields instead of currents. Yes. And this is because the oscilloscope gives off um, actual power fields, yes. Yes. and that affects with the radio itself. And that's why you hear what you hear. And so you also, in a way, you don't need the red wire, so it's a red wire connected through currents, and it's... Yes. Um, stronger, I guess? Yeah, so, you don't, well, if you don't have the red wire, you don't really have the exploding part unless you touch it yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you won't really know if something really, with mm -hmm. a lot of ener energy in it, would, like, hit. It will just be, like, static, really. Right. And I also want to say, you know how uh, radio telescopes, if you were to point it at, like, Jupiter or something, you would see waves go up? This isn't that strong. Um, this is the type of stuff where you could see, like, um... Energy levels. Right. Well, from, uh, kind of, like, close up, but it's still cool. Yeah. And it's just a cool thing to have. Yeah. It's like a decoration. Yeah. And one of the things is, I was gonna say that, you know, if you have the oscilloscope and you can plug into a 9 volt battery, good for you. Because the one that we bought, we actually need 12 volts, and to get a 12 volt battery, that's like a car battery, I guess. Yeah. And so we have to plug it into an outlet, the one that actually gives us 12 volts. And that's um, a little annoying because we can't go outside and point at stuff and do all that stuff because you see these uh, waves? That is mostly because. Well, I mean, we did find a car one that would plug into this, a car one, so then we could. We could plug a giant car battery into it, but then yeah. we're still gonna go inside and get it so heavy. Um, well, no, but I mean, we found a car plug mm -hmm. that goes in the car. Oh! Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. That All right. would connect to the show Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we can do that, but, um, yeah, you, you can do all sorts of stuff, really. And you can see how the waves actually decrease. That's because one reason to have the red wire on the antenna. Uh, is because the actual oscilloscope 
is kind of powered by, oh, you see, that was me touching yeah. the antenna because it's getting so many, um, electromagnetic waves and fields. And so, it, yeah, it's, it's getting nothing. It's only getting the stuff that is in this room, which right now, um, it's pretty full of electronic stuff, um. Yeah, there's, like, the computer right here, mm -hmm. uh, PlayStation, TV, and all mm -hmm. that stuff. So, yeah. And there's no soldering or, like, welding or any of that stuff involved with uh, this. Yeah. It's just, like, just connecting wires and stuff. Right. And if I were to touch this, nothing would happen to the telescope because the red wire isn't connected. Mm -hmm. But if I connect the red wire, um, there, it the waste does that. Yeah. So that's basically how to make a radio telescope. Yeah, and what they do and how they work, and yeah, that's um basically the fundamental rules to know about it. Okay, so, so uh, that's it. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, mm -hmm. and you might build one for yourself, or it inspires you or something. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's about all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye.